When the one new cap, Joe Hawkins, what has he shown to convince you that he's ready? Look, he's um, been with us now for the entire camp. Uh, he's had five weeks of training. He's looked very good in training. Uh, he's a confident young man, um, a good skill set. Uh, and he's got uh, physical attributes, I think, which uh, lend to him doing well at this level of the game. So, look, he's really, really excited uh, and uh, just ju jumping at the opportunity. He's disappointed he didn't get an opportunity last week. Um, but, you know, as we say, seven days is a long time in the sport and he gets that, uh, that opportunity. You've got a lot of experience coming back in as well with Lee Halfpenny, Alan Wynne-Jones, Talupe Faletau playing his 100th international. What sort of effect are you hoping to get from those? Look, uh, all three that you've mentioned have, have vast experience, obviously. They bring a lot to the team in their, in their individual performances, uh, but also uh, leadership in the, in the case of Al is, is, is massive. As we know, he's been the captain for a long, long time, up until recent uh, times. And, uh, you know, uh, that will be um, something that we look to utilise throughout the 80 minutes ahead of us. You say seven days is a long time in rugby. Uh, what have the days since Saturday been like within the squad in terms of the atmosphere? Yeah, Monday was, um, uh, as you would expect, I think, uh, most people would, uh, would understand that it was going to be a day where nobody really enjoys coming to work. Um, but it was a very, very dark afternoon on, on Saturday. We know that, we acknowledge that, uh, but then it's about being professional and, and going through the, the performance, looking at the week that we had leading into that game after the Argentinian, Argentinian performance and uh, <clears throat> looking at what we need to get right for this week. You can't dwell on it for too long. It's a matter of um, looking at how we performed or where we didn't perform, um, have those discussions, and then move forward. And uh, I have to say, Tuesday and again today uh, have been some of our best trainings uh, in this particular camp. Are Australia in a, a similar desperate position to yourselves in terms of the result with um, three defeats on the bounce, uh, nine, I think, this year, and uh, loads of players out injured? Yeah, very similar um, in, in a lot of ways. Um, it's the end of their season. They'll be desperate to, uh, to finish on a high. And don't forget, we played each other in the last match last year. And I know Dave and, and his side were very disappointed to lose that match at the death. So they'll come uh, regardless of what side that goes out there with one aim, and that it will be to, uh, to come away with a victory. Uh, we're both going there to get the same result, and one team will. Do you fear that your results... Your, do you fear that your job could be on the line with this result? Oh, other people make those decisions. What we do internally is make sure that we prepare the best we can. Um, I can't get sidetracked by those sorts of things. At the end of the day, um, it's a professional environment we're in. We know there's uh, a lot at stake, clearly, uh, and you know we're here rolling our sleeves up this week to try to get the result that everybody wants. Has there been any contact with WRU hierarchy other than the usual in this situation? Just the usual. Um, we have weekly contact uh, in camp, in, in every camp, and uh, this week's been no different. Is this your most difficult moment as a, a professional coach, and if so, how are you facing up to it? Yeah, look, for, for me, um, it's very, very disappointing to be in this position. Um, and, you know, as a head coach, the responsibility lies with me in terms of a lot of the decision making that goes on, and, and uh, I don't shy away from that. Uh, but what we do do is, is look at what we can control. Uh, and that is each day that we come in this week, making sure we maximise our opportunity to uh, get the team in the shape they need to be mentally and physically to do well this Saturday. And that's certainly been the focus of everybody in the management and the players uh, have fronted up very, very well, uh, been very honest in, in reviews and then uh, have gone out and been very physical in training and been very disciplined and uh, you know, brought a very good attitude to the week to date. Is it difficult to plan forward for the World Cup and the Six Nations when you've got such pressing short-term concerns then? No, look, there's always the big picture in the background. Um, you know, Martin Williams has been in France the first few days of this week. Things go on. You know, there's been a big uh, conference up in London the last couple of days for the, the CEOs and, and coaches that uh, obviously aren't involved in matches this week. But uh, So, yeah, things go on. Rugby World Cup planning is, is there in the background and we're off to France on Sunday. So, um, yeah, nothing changes in that respect. Thank you. Good luck. Thank you. Uh, when you mentioned you've been in touch with the WIU hierarchy, what has their mood been like post Georgia? Just, it's, it's just the standard. It's, it's seriously, it's focusing on the here and now. Um, we review campaigns at the end of the campaign, not during. So it's, it's just been stock standard, um, discussing you know, the obvious things on uh, you know, what things are, what are we doing this week, 
how can we improve the performance, normal discussions that we would have. Yeah. And obviously uh, the Italy game led to a lot of soul searching, I guess, in, within the group. Can you see why perhaps some people might think you haven't learned your lesson from that, given what happened on Saturday? 100%, 100%. Um, and if I was on the outside, without having all the information, I would uh, just, on, on the straight results, I'd be asking the same questions. Do you, do you know why the players couldn't come out in that second half with the sort of energy, intensity or whatever was required to meet Georgia? Yeah, well, I think um, in team sport, a lot of things have to come together. And, uh, you know, you need a bit of possession and you need some territory, some field position, and you need to be able to um, hold on to the ball for long periods to build pressure. And we simply weren't able to do that in the second half. I think we had something like 13 phases in 40 minutes with the ball. Now, that's unheard of. So... There was a lot of um, strike plays, as we would call them, um, half a dozen where we turned the ball over for one reason or another within the first phase. So we just weren't able to get our game going. Um, the opposition then built uh, in confidence. Next thing you've got a yellow card, you're a man down, a try is scored, and, and you're battling, and that's exactly how it turned out. Um, but we have to make sure that uh, if we replicate a game like that again, that we've got, put the game away by half time, and I think... You know, we had opportunities to do that and we, we weren't clinical enough to, to finish them off and uh, you know, three or four tries by half-time was very achievable last week. And players came into this campaign in Wales with a lot going on in the background. There's also, you know, the WIU and the regions are yet to reach an agreement as far as those outside know. To what extent do you think it's difficult for your players to perform with all that going on in the background? Uh, look, only players could really answer that, but um, look, there are discussions that are ongoing around um, what's happening between the two parties, but what we try to do is just keep the boys focused on, on what's uh, in front of them at the moment, and that's a few test matches, and uh, we, we talk around worrying about that after the camp, and, uh, but, you know, as I say, that's probably players, you know, um, how it affects them, only they could answer that. And just finally from me, that those discussions have been going on for pretty much 12 months now. How keen is the head coach of the national side of you to just see that all resolved? Oh, very keen. And I think everybody uh, in Wales would like to see it resolved. Um, and let's hope that uh, we get some good news shortly.